Evan is making spaghetti meatballs for his friends. He makes 30 meatballs. He wants five meatballs in each plate. How many plates of spaghetti and meatballs can Evan make? We can write a division equation when solving this word problem. Since multiplication and division are related, we can also use a multiplication sentence to represent this problem. The number of groups times the number in each group equals the total. So if there were some number of plates, or groups, with five meatballs in each, and a total of 30 meatballs, we can write it as something times five is equal to 30. You can reverse a multiplication sentence to write a division sentence. The total divided by the number of groups equals a number in each group. 30 meatballs divided by five meatballs is equal to some number of plates. Or we can do 30 meatballs divided by some number of plates is equal to five meatballs. 30, or the total, is called the dividend. The number you are dividing by is called the divisor. And the answer you get when you divide the two numbers is called the quotient. We know that six groups of five make 30. So Evan can make six plates of spaghetti with five meatballs in each. Let's look at an example. Kevin is making sandwiches. He has 16 slices of bread. He needs two slices of bread for each sandwich. How many sandwiches can Kevin make? Build an equation to represent this problem. The dividend is the total. The total here is the 16 slices of bread. So we can drag 16 here since it's the dividend. Kevin needs two slices of bread for each sandwich. So if each sandwich is a group, the number in each group is two. We can call this the divisor. 16 divided by 2 is equal to some number. This is the same as saying 2 in each group times the number of groups is equal to 16. 2 times what number equals 16? 8. So the quotient here is 8. Kevin can make 8 sandwiches with 16 slices of bread. In this lesson, you learn how to write division equations to solve word problems. Thanks for watching.